Hello there, welcome back to the yoga, the old Git Reacts reviews and off times reminisces. Um, forgive the use of profanities so soon in this video, but I fucking hate rock ballads. I fucking hate them. Um, I cannot abide them. No, not at all. Um, there's something about them that just makes me cringe, um, even with some of them to the point of my skin crawling. Uh, I don't know if it's because they're cheesy or, or what, I don't know. But... Um, there's always one exception and in this case as far as rock ballads is, uh, is concerned there is only one exception um, and it's this one uh, that we are going to do today um, not only is it one I can abide I actually think it's rather rather brilliant um, and it's from Warrior Soul and it's called you've no doubt deduced this from the title of the uh, the video but uh, the Golden Shore um, so why do you like this one then Mac and not all the others well i don't really know i think because it carries emotion without all the cheese um and there's no syrup in it um and it feels genuine um i might talk about warrior soul a bit more at the end of the video um before you get too bored so let's uh, listen to it and you can see whether you like this rock ballad along with me. Break out your lighters. First things to say really is that all the elements that make me hate rock ballads are present in this song. Uh, however, 
Um, as is oft said, it ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. And um, the elements that uh, I don't like elsewhere come together here and engage and convince. Um, again, it's it's chemistry, I suppose. The others, get the fuck out of here. This one, yes, I'm with you here. <laughs> get the name of the guy, Corey, somebody, isn't it? But... Um, so many rock ballads to me seem like an obligation for a band to come up with something slow and smoochy and, uh, you know, end of the night jobby. Um, and they don't sound genuine. Um, obviously, your views may differ. Um, but for me, this is the only one I've ever heard, which uh, I can live with. And not only live with, but uh, exalting, almost. Strong words, but uh, it's true. Anyway, let's hear some more. coming um the other thing is thank fuck as well for a non-wanky solo in this so often um they go over the top of the cheese on the solos in rock ballads and that is is appropriate to the feel of this song uh, not over the top doesn't go too far um you know <laughs> it is um in sync with the rest of it um one of the things about this song I like the most is the building of moment um most rock ballads build up to a um a, yeah, a long buster chorus um this one does it in a way that um you are you, you can't wait for the chorus i suppose um that suspense is built uh, the moment is built and you are ready, as I say, with your lighter, to, ready to wave uh, when it breaks uh, and to sing along with. Uh, I don't do lyrics, and I still don't know lyrics to this, even though I've heard them time and time again. But um, I suppose I could mention the, uh, the the heartfelt way in which Corey watches his face things. Um, from his other stuff, you know, you know he's got some lungs on him and he can um, put out uh, a rock song, punk rock song, sub metal song whatever however you want to define warrior soul but um he convinces when he's railing against, against something and he convinces when he's uh, in tribute so uh, anyway i can't wait for the next bit i don't know about you let's have it <laughs> Let's 
It's almost a bagpipe riff, that. soul the golden shore um just love that chorus it's so you know it's exultant um it's one of those things that um if Corey was his face i'll get his name come to me at some point probably after this video um was stood at the top of a mountain uh you'd go and join him um you know without fear of what may come um, which brings me, I suppose, to Warrior Soul. Um, the probably the the band that should have been huge um, that never were. I don't know why, because bear in mind, I'm a, I like my stuff's fast and loud, and I'm talking fast and loud, uh, as those of you that visit this channel will know by now. Um, they come out with some little snorters of of punky, rocky sort of songs. Um, you know, there's plenty to shake your fist at in their discography. Um, and yet, and uh, you know, mainstream's <coughs> a subjective term, but they were, you know, an accessible but hard faced band. And um, I'm sure there's plenty of fans out there, but they never got the coverage they deserved. I mean, they came out at the same time, I suppose, as those whiny, moany, grungy. Uh, bands, I mean, I'm not a fan of Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, and all them lot, and I think Warrior Soul came out at the same time and were probably overshadowed by um, the popularity of bands like that, uh, even though they thoroughly deserve their own limelight. Um, but anyway, um, thoroughly enjoyed that. Always nice to have that. I can't attach it to a light, you know, sometimes a song resonates because it corresponds with a life moment and I, I can't place it in that sense either it's just it's a thoroughly well constructed and emotionally sound song um and as stated it's the only one <laughs> i'll ever listen to probably um that comes under the uh, umbrella that i've imposed on this one really of a rock ballad the rest can all get to um anyway uh after that i think i might need something a little bit more faster a more raucous but uh, jolly good show warrior soul anyway clicky box if you want and i'll see you all next time